Okay, rolling. Five, four. This is the video for Lesson 6, Section 3, uh, Multiple Vanishing Points on a Horizon Line. And I've, again, pre-laid out a uh, drawing here that we will use for demonstration purposes. And I want to start my drawing with a horizon line, a right and left vanishing point. And then I've got a couple of objects, rectilinear objects, in the drawing that I will trace over. Uh, this object here, well, it's maybe a really oversized column extending all the way from the floor to the ceiling. Another object that I have is turned parallel with the picture plane. The first object used the right and left vanishing points in the drawing. This object is uh, rotated so it is parallel with the picture plane and becomes a one-point perspective. A one-point perspective, again, is on the horizon line. We'll add in the walls and floor, ceiling of our building. All of those are, or of our room, are projected to the right and left vanishing point. Now what I want to do is include one more object that is rotated at an angle different than the uh, one-point perspective box or this uh, original two-point perspective oversized column. And the way that I generally do that is I just estimate a footprint on the floor. So let's say that I want to put another rectilinear object in my drawing and I just want to locate it about here. And you can see that it's rotated at an angle that's different than this uh, oversized column or different than this one-point perspective box and I just estimated the shape of that object in my perspective drawing. Well, what I'll do is take one side of my estimated box and extend that one side all the way to the horizon line. And where it intersects the horizon line, in this case, it will be right vanishing point number two. And I'll just move that slightly back into the camera view and I'll use that same vanishing point now for the front of my object. If you look at my little layout it wasn't very uh, precise but this tightens it up. So I'll take another side and run that up to the horizon line again. This will become my left vanishing point number two and I can use that for the other side of the object. And again my original estimation was slightly off but this tightens it up to be in perspective. Now is it accurate? No, nope, it really is not very accurate, but the intention here is to make this believable. So I'll run the top to the right vanishing point, and the side is going to go to the left vanishing point, the height, and run it right in here. So it's rotated, not that it's parallel with the picture plane, but very close to being parallel, but it's not a one-point perspective. So I will erase a few of these extra lines in here just by using a marker and better define the object that I just drew. And although it's a very subtle perspective, and you don't see much of the left side of the object, it is drawn believably. I'll take just a slightly darker color to define the left side of the object. So we just started with an estimated shape on the floor, and from there I ran lines to the horizon line to determine the new vanishing points. And uh, any drawing can include virtually dozens of vanishing points depending on how you rotate an object to the picture plane.